Yo, what is up guys? It's Riley here from Parallax 10 I'm bringing you guys a LVY TPS guide. Now, a lot of you have been asking for this for a while now, and I've just been really lazy. So I'm going to be showing you how I set up my UI and how it works. As you see on the screen, these are how I have it set up on all my DPS characters. It's mostly the same for every single one of them. So as I scroll through the different characters, you'll see in terms of like maybe a ranged class, how the how differently it's set up and for a melee class how there is no giant cast bar like you're seeing on the screen right now with the shadow priest and how with the monk there is no large cast bar there's only a small one right underneath my name so we'll be going over through some little things like that and i'll be going through the install process and all these little things that you need to know on how to set up your lvi now this warrior gameplay is embarrassing because i don't play fury warrior but anyways i hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you'll learn something from this LVI guide. If you have any questions, just leave them in the, the comments below and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Now on to the main part of the video. Now when it comes to installing LVI, we're gonna go to the website. So you're just gonna go on Google and search L, LVI, can't fuck it, LVI, thank you. And you just click the first thing that pops up and you'll see this. So what you're gonna wanna do is just click download on LVI you should get it now you see it says one right here because I already have it downloaded so when you do this you should get it in a RAR file and when you open it up you'll see this you can click extract to and you go to where your WoW is located for me it's located in local disk C program files times 86 scroll down and we'll have World of Warcraft right here so I'm gonna open that up go to interface and click add-ons now that's where I click OK to extract it there I already have it installed so I really don't need to do that. So once you click OK, LVI should be installed by itself perfectly fine. And then when we get in game, I'll show you guys how to actually set it up like how I have mine set up. Just like you guys saw, this is how I have most of my DPS LVI setups. It's with a simple six bars with three of them like this and four buttons on each side like this in a square like this. So I have six. These are my main abilities. These are like my secondary abilities. This is where I keep like my defensives, some other cooldowns, my heals, my uh, harpoon or charge if I was on my warrior, or like uh, my hook on my rogue. And I also keep some CC down here with my ranger's net, and of course my flare. Now over here I keep my pots and uh, flasks, and my lockstone. And just for fun I have my hatchet toss here if I need to pull something from a distance. And on this side I have my feign death and my aspect of the cheetah, some traps in case I need to pull out something other than a steel trap or a flame trap so I have my tar trap you know right there and then I have my racial which is shadow meld because I am a night elf now how we set this up is see if I target my pet I have my sorry you heard that I have my target right here right next to my name so when I am in combat I can see my health and the target's health right next to mine so I don't have to worry about looking up here like in the default UI how kind of weirdly it's set up so it's how I have it set up like this now on how we do that I'll show you so when you first install LVUI but let me reset my UI for you guys so you can go th right through the process so I'm gonna do install so when you first install LVUI you'll get a screen like this and you do not want to skip the process obviously so you can hit continue you can hit up set up CV CVARS uh, then you're gonna go here, set up chat, set up your chat for you. And you go to, you either can choose classic, which is just this dull gray, which I personally do not like. You can go for a dark black look like this, which looks really sleek and I do like it, but I like to stick with the class theme. So I'm gonna keep it with class with this nice uh, hunter green and the outline right here. So let's click continue. Now, depending on your screen, so if you're 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p, you want to use high resolution if you're anything lower than that you want to use low resolution that's what it'll look like so we're gonna stick with high resolution since you know we are using a 1080 screen or if you do like the slow resolution setup you can totally go with that but i'm gonna show you guys how i set mine up so we got the high resolution we'll click continue now it says cast dps physical dps healer tank you choose what you are in my case i'm a physical dps since i am playing a survival hunter but for some reason it'll still give me a casting bar even though I'm because because I'm a hunter so depending on what class you're playing you'll get a cast a giant cast bar or not uh, and since I am a hunter it'll give me a giant cast bar but if you're playing something like a rogue a warrior uh, druid maybe I guess feral druid um, paladin anything that's physical DPS you will click physical DPS if you're a mage warlock you know 
boom can you will hit caster dps but i am a physical dps as a survival hunter now click continue you want aurora bars and icons you're gonna want this because this helps you track your stuff such as at least for survival hunter it'll track my lacerate and my stacks of machina thou and uh my stacks of mongoose bite and it also touch um it also shows you roll the bones if you are playing Outlaw Rogues, because I know someone was asking that in the questions, what add-on I use. I don't use any add-on. Actually, I do use something called X-Roll for Outlaw Rogues, so I'll put a link into the description for that add-on as well for you Outlaw Rogues out there. So we click continue. When you're done, you're finished, and your basic UI setup will look something like this. Now, right now, it's not that pretty because I don't have any of my abilities set up, so you will have a bar of 12 right here you'll have a bar of I think six right here another six on this side and you'll have a bar here and your pet bar will be right here so now we're going to setting it up how I like it so right now I only have one bar enabled with 12 buttons I only use six of them so we're gonna go click escape click into the LVI settings and here is where things get interesting now we're gonna start off with the action bars and I'm gonna activate bar number two and bar number six those are these bars right here Bar 1 is the bottom most, bar 2 is the middle, and bar 6 is up top. I switch mine around, I put bar 1 on top, bar 2 stays in the middle, and bar 6 goes on the bottom. That's just how I do it, it really doesn't matter, but uh, yeah, that's how I do it. Now, these are bars 3 and 5, bar 4 is this bar right here, as you can see in the right hand, so we don't need to mess with that, I just like it like that, how it's set up already. So let's go set up these smaller bars right here. So we'll go over to bar 3, and I only use 4 buttons on them. So as you can see, it just shrunk to four right here. And I like it in a square. So buttons per row, we'll put two. And there it goes, it turns to square. I like the buttons a little bit larger. So instead of 32, I'll put say 36. And now they're larger and easier to see. And I'll do the same for bar five. So I'll put four buttons, size 36, I think is what I put it, I'm pretty sure. And buttons per row, not four, I had to put two. And there we go, we got two bars that are exactly identical. Alright, so now let's fix up our main bars right here. So we're going to start off with bar 1. Now, how I like to set it up is with 6 buttons. There you go. You see now it's 6 buttons down here. I like to change this to... Ooh, not 45. That's too big. I set it to 42, which is 10 more than the average. So now it looks something like that. Right now it just looks kind of confusing and garbled up. But that's okay. Uh, button spacing is totally fine. Backdrop, it's up to you. So this is how I have it set up. Button size 42. Button 6. Buttons per row doesn't really matter. I guess you can put it to 6 but nothing will change. So I'll do that for bars two and six now. So this is bar two, 42, buttons, not button spacing, buttons six, and then bar six, we'll do the same exact thing like before, 42, and buttons six. So now we have our bars set up the way we like it. Now we just gotta move things around to make sure it doesn't look like this. When I'm targeting something, and let's just say I pop this, my cast bar is right there in the middle. And that's not very practical, is it? So we're gonna set it up to where it is practical. So we're gonna go back to our LVI settings, go back to this main page right here. So we'll go back to general, or it doesn't really matter. We'll just go and toggle anchors. Now look at the screen. This looks really confusing when you first see it, and it kind of is. So what I like to do right off rip, which means right away, is move my boss button over here and my micro bar over here. But I do not have my micro bar enabled. Micro bar is disabled by default with LVI. You're going to want to turn that on unless you do know the key bindings for that bar. So the first thing I'm going to do is move everything I don't need out of the way, at least don't need right now. So my player cast bar, I'll move it over here for now. My pet frame, I'll move it over here for now. Same thing with target frame and my player frame and the target frame. So I'll put those over here because these are we're going to mess around with later. But right now I want to set up my main bars. So like I said, I'll put bar 1 up here, bar 3 and bar 5 stay down, and I'm going to put bar 6 at the bottom. Now I'll show you guys the coordinates if you want to copy exactly. So bar 6 will go to 0, X, and 20, Y. Bar 2 will stay on 0, X as well. Go down, uh, it'll be Y, 64. So you got Y, 20 for bar 6. Y64 for bar 2, both of them with X0. We'll move this down, and bar 1 will be Y108 and X0. So this is how I have it set up. Bar 3 will go down to 20 as well. And it will be X170. So this one will be negative 170, if you want the same exact spot. And this is also 20, so I'll put Y20 right here. And it should be parallel to bar 3. 
So now when I click lock, my bars is all nice and pretty right here. But uh, yeah, that doesn't look very good. We got to move that back into its original spot. But right now, this is how I usually have it set up like this. So now let's go move our uh, target frames. See, that's, that's not very practical, is it? Well, it could be. I don't know. It's all personal preference, really. But, you know, it's always up to you guys. So what I do now is I'm going to move my target knife. I lied. My player cast bar. So I'll move it to here. So the X will be zero. Now, this cast bar won't be available this big to your physical DPS, such as Warriors and Melee DPS. For some reason, it's enabled for Survival 100 because the two other specs are ranged and they do two casts. So for my, so for personally, I'll go one, two, three. That's the spacing I like between the buttons. So those will be X0 and Y152. And then now we're gonna move our target frame. See, it has a little target cast bar. Basically, when you are a Melee DPS, you'll usually have a cast bar like that under your player frame but like I said earlier I have the bigger one because I am playing hunter so I'm gonna put my target cast my target um, excuse me my target frame down to here I usually do x137 so I put it like right there and I'll just move it down with the click until I go one two three up when it's lined up with the player cast bar so I'll put it right there so it's y201 and x137 player frame I'll do negative 137 and was that right uh i moved the wrong thing i think so <laughs> sorry this goes this should be okay it's not working uh that's all right so we'll just move it manually i guess but it's supposed to be negative 137 though uh sometimes there's this weird clipping thing where i can't put it exactly where i want it so that's what these things are for we just have to click our way there and eventually we'll get there so uh just keep clicking we'll keep clicking and we are there 137 and this is 198, so they will put this up to uh, 201 to match the target frame. So it'll go up, 201. Now it's parallel like that. Our target frame, target cast bar is right here. Target frames right here. Player frames right here. Uh, we're gonna put our target target frame right next to our target. So we're gonna line it up nice and good. And we're gonna go until the lines are perfectly together, like that. How it's nice and thin. And we'll move it one, two, three, so we get that nice little spacing between the target frame and the target target frame. So then we're gonna move our pet frame as a, let's say a warrior or a paladin, you won't have a pet frame. That's where I recommend you put your focus bar right here. But uh, since we do have a pet as a hunter, we're gonna go put our pet frame right there and it locks perfectly into place by itself. So I'll put my focus frame, let's say right here personally, like so, you know, that's just where I like it. So my focus frame will go right here, which is X negative three, five, seven and Y three, nine, six. My boss buttons, try to go generally in this area, mostly, I'd say put it right here, just so it's out of the way of the tooltip that pops up here, and my micro bar, which I'll enable right now. So I click lock, and now my UI is nice and clean like it was before, and when I pop something with the bar like that, it looks nice and clean. So now that my UI is set up, it's time to set up that micro bar that I was talking about. So we're going to open up the LVUI, go over to micro bar, which is underneath action bars, and just click enable toggle anchor and we'll just slide it down to my position where I like it which is right here which is like I think the basic uh, UI setup so with my boss button being right here in the general area this tooltip which pops up right there on the right side of the screen won't be blocked out by my boss button or vice versa the boss button won't be blocked out by the tooltip so that's a basic setup of my UI uh, if you have any questions on how to set it up exactly, if you want to see the numbers, just make sure to pause the video where the coordinates are for the different things, and you can go ahead and copy it. Now, that's the basic setup that I use, so if you guys want to talk about key bindings, go, go escape, click LVUI, and go to action bars, and there's a key bind mode, and whichever you click, so let's say this is one, if I right click, it removes the key binding, and whatever I click on my keyboard, one, there it goes. Now you're seeing these N1s, N2, N3, N4, N5, and N+, and all these other ones right here. That is my Razer Naga. Uh, using the program that comes with Razer, the Razer Synapse 2.0, I can choose what sort of keybinds I want on the side of my Razer Naga. So I just put it as a numpad because I'm too lazy to put like, you know, Shift-P or Shift-L or just these crazy keybinds onto the side of my uh, Naga. But So I just use number pads since I really don't use a number pad for anything else in WoW. So I just use the number pads, and then for here I use shift modifiers for this bottom row right here, except for this one button which I just keep as R. The rest of them are shift modifiers. And on these sides I keep control modifiers, so this for my uh, 
aspect of the T dot, I have control numpad one, which is control on my keyboard and one on my Razer Naga. And then my feign death is a shift modifier. So I'll hold shift and I'll click, which is numpad plus, which is 12 on the Naga. So I'll hold shift in that and then I will fall over and die. Well, you know, feign death. And then on this side, I have more control modifiers. I have a control E for a uh, lock stone, control Q for my uh, hatchet toss, which allows me to, you know, pull targets from a distance. And then for my pot, I have control numpad plus, which is control 12 on the Naga. And then for my flask, I don't have it bind to anything since it is, since it does last for 60 minutes, I just go ahead and click it like a fucking loser. <laughs> I'm kidding. And then on this bar over here, I keep, you know, my call pet, my uh, different pet things that I can do, my mounts, my uh, talent changing abilities, and my whistle for world quest. So that's the basic setup of how I do it. See, it looks really clean. It's nothing too fancy. And it does allow you to track your different abilities uh, like Lacerate and Saxo Mock and Thou with the Raptor Strike. So that will appear up here. I'll show you what that looks like on an Outlaw Rogue in just a bit. So this is what I was talking about. When you use your Roll the Bones, it shows up right above your name, making it really easy to track. I also recommend the add-on X Roll, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. And here it is with the X Roll add-on. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this new LVI guide. Like I said before, if you do have any questions, don't be afraid to leave it in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And don't be afraid to go ahead and follow us on Twitter for updates and some fun tweets from me or from Parallax Tyler. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the future. Thank you.